Your name is Bob Roberta Smith. I have to start with this one. Yeah. Why? Why is a single man calling himself two names? Um, well, because uh, the idea behind Bob and Roberta Smith is to try and um, try and inspire people to make their own art in a way, and so a lot of my activity has been about uh, um, trying to get people to um, believe in themselves and uh, and say, I, I'm sort of doing this, but you could do this as well, and uh, and. When we first started out, or when I first started out, I genuinely worked with my sister, who is called Roberta. And, uh, and uh, Roberta's idea was that, um, that, we would, um, that we would fill spaces with materials and then people could get there, make their own damn art. And my thing in that relationship was to have signs dotted around telling people ridiculous things to do or... or interesting things to do or important things to do or what they could do with the materials so that's how it developed and then she left and she retrained and she decided art was too elitist for her and she's retrained <laughs> and now she's a group psychoanalyst okay it took years <laughs> but she's retrained so we don't really make work as bob and roberta smith anymore but um uh, but i kept the name uh, because I, I, I think that idea of trying to inspire people to be Roberta or Bob, and then it's non-gender gender specific, anybody can make art. And uh, so that, that idea, that's, that's the reason why I've kept it. The concept, uh, one, I mean, with the flags, when we showed them at the Royal Festival Hall in London, we, uh, we constructed a big choir and we had people singing to the flags, mm -hmm. which was really lovely. And, uh, and I'm quite, I don't want to, I don't want to overclaim for that aspect of it. I think it's important, I want people to do their, I don't want to appropriate their creative activity into my art. Uh, but I, but I, uh, but that is one of the key ideas is that sort of saying to people that they should make their own art or have their own sets of ideals. Do you think art is the part of society? Do I get that right? I think arts, well, I think art is a really fundamentally important part of uh, democracy, really. Yeah. It's not so much society, but uh, uh, you can have societies without art. But it's hard to have uh, a democracy without art. Uh, because, because in the end, art, even if it's very abstract art or very art that is completely non-political, it is itself a kind of political thing because you, you can't have the conditions for making art without having some sort of open democracy, really, in the, in the modern world. I mean, it's not true of the past, but in the modern world, it's important. And then now you see all these countries, you know, in the Middle East and in China and what's happened to Ai Weiwei, and you can see um, that quite repressive regimes, mm -hmm. they don't like art, or they use art to say how, perhaps how liberal they are, you know, in a, in a fake way. Uh, so that's quite, so it's quite interesting how art works in that way. So I do think, yeah, I think art is a really important thing in terms of democracy. I think artists should address politics, yeah. I, I mean, if artists don't think that's part of their remit, then, uh, then we're really screwed. <laughs> you know, you want, <laughs> you want people to be able to speak out. And that's another thing about freedom of expression, you know. I think artists, and uh, they don't necessarily... Um, uh, I don't think they have to, but I think it's important that that aspect is, you know, cherished in society. So you, you had the idea with the art party, which is a, yeah. could I say, a political statement? Yeah. Do you see yourself as a political artist? Uh, I, no, I'm a very political artist, but I'm not interested in, I'm not really interested in telling people to uh, uh, do a particular thing. Or I don't think really, I don't think artists really... I mean, I think art, you know, some, some political situations, then I think it's okay for artists to tell people what to think. But I think the key thing is to tell people to think. Raising uh, questions, maybe. Yeah, raising questions. That's a, that's a good way of putting it, yeah. So I like, uh, yeah, I like the idea that arts, art is uh, confusing and not very direct. So I'm not really, although some things I do, like this big piece of 
painted behind me is a piece of green propaganda. Uh, but that's not, um, that's not the central point of it. I think the central point of it is to say, uh, come up with your own ideas, come up with your own thinking. I think on a, on a funda level, fundamental level, what really in influences me is trying to, uh, try to make uh, uh, a visual communication with other people. Uh, and, uh, and I think that has been... And, and then how you do that is necessarily a sort of political thing because you're, you know, in the widest sense of talking to other people is about politics and how people operate and organise themselves. That's a very political thing. And then on another level, what influences me is artists who've then dealt with politics in the past, like I suppose from Goya through to Picasso's Guernica or John Hartfield's posters uh, for the AIZ magazine or um, uh, artists who are interested in that very straight dynamic with the public and I suppose that is a key thing that I try to get to I might be a bit lost in the art world but I don't really want to commute, communicate through the art world with the public I want to communicate directly with the public mm -hmm. and I think those kinds of artists they do do that you know and I think that's an interesting thing so I think they they influence me one of my heroes my real hero is this woman Hannah Arendt mm -hmm. and she said that uh, you know, she was this amazing woman who, uh, who uh, was Heidegger's girlfriend and uh, Heidegger uh, got her, uh, betrayed her to the Nazis, so the Nazis interviewed her and then she left Germany to go and live in Paris and then she escaped Paris when, the, when uh, Germany was overrun during the Second World War. But her, her whole thing was trying to understand why the Nazis came to power in Germany and one of the key things that she says is that in a democracy you know you have to have uh, you have to have uh, people that need to be able to uh, you know participate in the democracy and they need to be able to uh, communicate and they need to uh, uh, and associate you know and those and and those and, and performance is very important for her this idea that individuals perform within a democracy and uh, so she's one of my, she's really my hero, and uh, and I like that idea very much. That so that's part of my thinking is to try and get people to think that they can participate more yeah. somehow yeah. in whatever it is that they're up to. <laughs>